हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डे फिफ्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर लीड कोड चैलेंज एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू विश ऑल ऑफ यू अ वेरी हैप्पी टीचर्स डे टूडे आई थॉट सिंस इट्स इट्स टीचर्स डे लेट्स गिव द डेली लीड कोड क्वेश्चन एंड आई वेंट अहेड विद माई फ्रेंड्स फॉर अ गैदरिंग आई टोल्ड दम अबाउट दिस चैनल एंड दे वर सुपर एक्साइटेड टू नो दैट आई एम रनिंग अ चैनल Uh, i would like to thank all of you for being such a supportive audience throughout this journey and now uh, when i'm back i thought let's continue the streak and here i am with the question orderly q in this question we are given a string s and an integer k we need to return the lexicographically smallest string that you can generate out of this string s by performing some operation and as per that operation we are free to choose any character out of the first k letters of s and we can append it to the end of the string we can perform this operation infinite number of times till the time you don't generate the lexicographically smallest string without much ado let's look at the presentation that i have created for this and let's get started with the ppt orderly q lead code 899 it's a hard question on lead code but i would say it's not a truly hard question it's somewhere in between medium to hard level question i'll tell you the importance of test case walk through using this question why iterating through multiple test cases is important even before jumping on to any strategy so let's get started let's try and understand the question let's hypothetically assume that this is a string that is given to us d c e a c b f and there is some integer value k the question says we need to generate the lexicographically smallest string possible if we are free to select any one single character out of this k sets and we can push that character to the end of the string for example if you are picking e we can push it to the end of the string and we can perform this kind of operation any number of times till the time Uh, the lexicographically smallest string has not been generated so let's try and understand it by various test cases uh, i am taking the stream string however i am changing the value of k so when k is given to us as 1 out of how many characters can you choose a single character the value of k that is given to us is 1 that means out of only one character starting from the beginning you can choose that character and place it to the end of the string that means you don't have any option but to place the first character the topmost character of the string to the end of it and uh, so what you're going to do you'll pick up d and place it to the end of the string d goes here and next we have is c uh, again you can place this c to the end of the string next we have is e you can place this string uh, you can place this e to the end of the string e gets here then you have a and uh, you can place this to the end of the string a gets here then you have c you can place this to the end of the string c goes here and then it's b you can place this b to the end of the string b goes here and then you have f you can place this string to the end of the string and once you have iterated over all the possibilities whatever string was lexicographically smallest one out of all the permutations that got generated you will return that string as an answer so for k equals to 1 the question seems pretty straightforward and easy if you write these cases on pen on paper you will definitely be able to come up with this approach that you need to generate all possibilities uh, by removing the first character of the string to the end of it and generating a new string and returning the lexicographically smallest string that is possible here we are given k as 2 instead of 1 that means we, we are free to choose any character starting from the first two characters of the string in the first case we have d and c and which character shall we pick up uh, let's try both the iterations and let's see if we can make the lexicographically sorted string using c or not Uh, so let's just remove this and place it to the end of the string the updated string is d e a c b f c and now i have two options d and e what am i going to do uh, let's try and place d 
at, to the end of the string so that CD becomes lexographically sorted. And once I have placed it, CD becomes lexographically sorted. And I have two options, E and A. Out of E and A, I am free to choose any one of them. Since CD were already sorted, uh, let's put, pick up E and place it to the end of the string. E goes here. Now CD, E becomes lexographically sorted. And I have two options for the next iteration, A and C. So let's place A to the end of the string because C, D, A will become lexographically sorted and let's place it over here. So we have the string as C, D, E, A that has been sorted and it's rotated about E. Let's place the next character out of C and B to the end of the string and this time we will pick up B because A and B will become lexographically sorted. So this becomes lexographically sorted. And the updated string is something like this C D E A B, which has been lexicographically sorted and rotated about this index. And we have two options C and F. And this time, what I'm going to do, I'll pick up C out of this and place it to the end of the string. I have C D E A B C as the updated string. And next, out of these two options, F and C, I'll pick one of them. And this time, I'll pick C because we already had C in the end and let's place it here. The updated string is something like this F D E A B C C. And what I'm going to do this time, I have two options F and D. So I'll remove this and place it to the end of the string. Next, I have two options F and E. What I'm going to do, I'll place E. Uh, to the end of the string because this is again becoming lexicographically sorted next i have f i'll place it to the end of the string so the updated string is something like this a b c c d e f and what do you see by coincidence this is the lexicographically sorted string of the input string a b c c d e f so whatever iterations we have performed so far it returned the lexicographically smallest string that is possible out of the input string. Let's try and do a different example. Here uh, I have an option to pick any character out of the first four characters. So what are my first four characters? It's D, C, E and A. So which one shall I pick up? Let's pick up A. So I'm going to place this to the end of the string. So A goes here. I have F, I have A and uh, the other characters remains the same. Next I have an option to pick any character out of these D, C, E, C and which one shall I pick up? Let's assume I am picking up uh, the lowest one. The lowest one is C. So C gets here and next I have is D, E, C, B, these four characters and which one shall I pick up? Let's pick up the lowest one. So I'm picking up B and let's place B here. So let me just rewrite the characters. We have D, we have E, we have C, we have F, we have A, we have C, we have V. So out of these four characters, which one shall I pick up? Let's pick up uh, the lowest one, C. So C goes here. Next we have is D, E, F and A. Which one shall I pick up? Let's pick up D. So let's remove D. And now we have E, F, A, C. Out of E, F, A, C, which one shall I pick up? Let's pick up E and E gets placed here. Next we have is F A C B. So out of these four characters, which one shall I pick up? Let's pick up F and F gets placed here. So we, I have a string something like A C B C D E and F. And the first four characters are A C B C. The, and you will see that B is slightly misaligned. So can we generate the smallest possible string 
and rectify this misalignment let's try that up let me just change the color of pen for better understanding and this time let me just remove c uh, to the end of the string so c goes here i have a b c d now as my next option and what i'm going to do i'll delete uh, d and let's delete d d goes here uh, next i have a b c e as my four options and what am i going to do i'll delete e and e goes here next i have a b c f as my four options and i'm going to delete f and what do you see now i have a b c c d e and f coincidentally this again becomes sorted so let's we can try few more iterations and you will realize that if the value of k happens to be greater than 1 then you get to choose out of greater than one option uh, for the character that needs to be placed to the end of the string and by virtue of that since you have multiple options to select you can do the tweaking you can apply permutations and generate the smallest possible string out of the input string this is how the algorithm works this is not what i have thought of previously before the video it's i did it on run time and generated the smallest possible string so this is a take away whenever the value of k is greater than 1 you get options to choose characters out of the first k characters and by virtue of that you are able to generate the smallest possible string without much ado let's move on to the coding section let's write few cases if k happens to be 0 i'll simply return the input string if k happens to be greater than 1 then i sort those characters and return the new string which is the sorted string of the input characters and if k happens to be 1 that means you only have one possibility to keep on iterating the first character and placing it to the end of the string you generate all permutations that are possible and return the smallest possible answer so i'm doing the same thing i started an iteration from i equals to 1 up till the length and i generated the reordered string and i compared it with my answer variable if this happens to be lower i update my answer variable in the end i simply return the answer variable let's submit this accept it uh this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you like it please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question till then goodbye